What's crackling, everybody's there? Bell is here with Maggie, bringing you some Pokemon Go Badly content. In today's video, we're going over some shockingly surprising content in that Luxray, with hidden power, ground type, in the Electric Cup, is actually busted AF. And yes, y'all saw it coming. And no, probably more than half of you don't have one, and it's really unfortunate that they decided to lock hidden power ground in the way they did and say, here's something that's going to be ridiculously good in this cup, and they didn't ban it along with the things that have mud slap. So I feel like this is really an accessibility deal, but you know what? Make do with it. I happened to check my storage. I had a shiny that I'd saved from my community day and had it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use it. I got it. Why not? So anyway, we've got a team here with the Luxray in the back as our safe switch. We've got Galvantula in the lead with Energy Ball and Lunge with Fury Cutter Fast Move. And we've got Lantern in the back as a counter swap or closer. And it's got the Water Gun. Surf, Thunderbolt, normal, you know, you kind of expect to see it. But let's let's just let's just get right in because you know what? You're gonna I just want to show you guys how stupid strong this thing is in this meta. So uh let's go right here. We got the play button if I could hit it. There we go. Okay, cool. Cue the music, and we've got a lantern on the lead. So the way that I play out the lantern leads here, I'll play it one of two ways, right? I'll go all the way up to an energy ball, and occasionally I may go for the lunge, I may just go for the energy ball, but it looks like I made a mistake here. I accidentally over farm by one, so I'm going to shield because they haven't been debuffed yet. Typically what I do is I will go for the energy ball bait. So I'll go for the lunge after I have enough energy for the energy ball. That'll debuff them and that means I usually don't have to shield. So I'm going to be able to go for an energy ball here right away. And I should be able to either get the shield off this lantern or take them out entirely. And they do decide to shield. Now, I can almost always expect here that the opponent will probably... <laughs> The opponent will probably have a Hisuian Electro in the back, as they always do. It just, they always seem to. So I'm going to bring in my Lantern here. And with a shield, Luxray can literally plow through almost everything. Um, especially if you're, you know, using it in the two shields. We're just going to have to see what my opponent has in the back. Their Lantern is kind of giving me the business right now. Um, and my only answer to their potential Electrode is gone. So we're just going to kind of have to see what they've got in the back and, and try and figure out what I can do here. Takes out the Lantern, thankfully that thing goes down, and they come in with a Galvantula, and the problem with that is they came in with a Galvantula while my Lantern has energy. So I'm going to be able to just throw a Surf here, do a bunch of chip damage, and then I'm just going to bring in the Luxray, and the opponent has a Graveler in the back, and that's exactly why this is here. I'm going to try, I should have, I think I should have just farmed all the way down. I was afraid of having a shield, because I wanted to save that shield for the Galvantula. Um, and then they get to a move anyway, so not exactly the smartest thing for me to do there. Um, definitely should not have, uh, should not have thrown, but now I have a shield for my lantern. Should be able to just tank this, or not tank this, uh, shield this up, farm down, and then throw a surf at the graveler, or I can just throw the surf right now, which I'm gonna do before they get to a charge move potentially. And then I'm gonna be able to get a couple water guns off against the graveler, but that's gone. The graveler's not even here anymore, so it's well played. Anyway, thank you. So we've got a Galv lead. And what we do here is, because I have a slightly attack-weighted Galv, you can see the IVs are 4 4 12. I do win CMP against most high-ranked Galv. So I'm going to go straight for Lunge here, and I'm going to hope I get a shield. And they don't shield. I'm still going to shield their Lunge, usually. Um, ever since I played this matchup, specifically I do. Um, the thing is, is that saving two shields for my elect or <laughs> Saving two shields for my Luxray usually allows it to win any matchup it wants. But because my opponent safe switched in a Hisuian Electrode, I don't understand why they did. But I'm going to stay in, get a bunch of chip damage with the Fury Cutters, throw the Lunge, and come in with Luxray. And the opponent has a debuff attack stat. That's why I didn't shield the Energy Ball. If they hadn't had a debuff, I would have definitely shielded that Energy Ball up. But speaking of energy, you're just full of it, aren't you? So my opponent is going to be able to get to a move here, but I should be able to shield up and hopefully farm down before they get to another move. They do throw the energy ball. If they had gone for the wild charge, that would have allowed me to farm down, but now they are going to go for wild charge. I think I just let this go here. Battles were done a couple days ago. No, I do go for I do go for a shield and farm down here, and the opponent, bless you, is going to try and catch moves on their galv. They really don't like what's in the back, so they're going to come in, and they have a lantern in the back, which means I'm going to be able to throw this wild charge, do a ton of damage to the opponent's Lantern and come into my own lantern and just go for a Thunderbolt and KO. My opponent knows it. They they concede the match and that's a good game. Going into the next game here, we've got the Electrode lead. This is what you want to see in the lead with the Galvantula. So they're staying in for a bit. They swap in their Graveler and I immediately counter swap my Luxray. I am going to farm this thing all the way down and then I'm going to shield this up. Just It's probably a Rock Blast, but I probably don't live it. Um, and then I'm going to be able to look, farm this Graveler all the way down. I don't know how they got... 
is it that might be a volt switch i think that's a volt switch graveler that's what it was so because it's just volt switch i was able to live that second rock blast i just wanted to be sure it wasn't a stone edge the first time and now my opponent comes in with their electrode and i'm literally just going to go straight psychic fangs here because wild charge is double resisted this is a case that you could make if you wanted to run crunch on your luxray if you have one um I think that that would be a solid way to go here. Because look, Luxray just literally wiped out two-thirds of this person's entire team. Just rolled the whole thing. Galv can come in here, farm down, and whatever they've got in the back, it's a Dedene. So I'm going to be able to go for this lunge here if I want to. Or I'm just going to go for an Energy Ball. The Energy Ball is the safe way to go for damage or a shield. Lunge is resisted by the Fairy Typing. They no-shield it, and I'm just going to come in now with my Lantern and finish this with a farm down, and that's going to be a good game. My opponent knows it, and that's it. So, well played, though. Um, by the way, if you didn't figure out from the title of the, um, of the, of the video or the whatever title I end up giving this thing, um, Luxray is absolutely busted, and eventually there's going to be a safe swap situation where this thing is just going to go off. Um, I did these battles the first, you know, couple days in the cup. I went 21-5 and five with this team, which is probably why you're here, because I put that, I'm going to put in the title for sure. Uh, or 21-4, and four, sorry. So, I'm going to be able to get this lantern to come in here and even though they've thrown their lunge at me i will still go for the energy ball here because that will still do a significant amount of damage and i can counter now with my lantern and the reason why i don't come in with lux right here is because if my opponent has the electrode in the back i would rather use my lantern up now when it's not going to be uh potentially matched up against the electrode later so i'm gonna go for the surf here i wanted to go for a farm down after the surf lands see if my opponent wanted to shield it but they don't i'm gonna go for this farm down they are able to get to a move but i think this is just a surf so i let it go and even if it isn't i'm not going to give them a lot of farm either way so they're going to go for the chip damage surf and i'm going to let wait for them to come in you are being difficult aren't you you silly girl oh hello and they're going to come in with the electrode that i kind of figured was back there so now that i've kept my galvantula healthy that's going to help and you're actually going to see that the lantern can do quite a fair amount of damage to Electrode if they try to get greedy on energy. Think about two Surfs there, that would have brought it down near the red. So a Loaded Lantern can still do a ton of damage to an Electrode, so keep that in mind. Um, I do decide to no shield that because I want to keep my shield for the Galv that's back there. I'm just kind of using my Luxray at this point to soak damage. And I'm gonna come in now with my Galv now that I know that they've so uh, thrown all of their energy. Galv is going to get met with their Galvantula and I'm gonna go for the lunge here. This isn't looking great. Um, to be completely honest, I don't remember if I win this or not. <laughs> uh, my opponent is going to get an attack drop. I'm going to have to farm down with my lantern here and try to get there. But I think I just know shield because I know it's oh. over. So. Babby, come on. You're so angry. So yeah, my opponent completely square won me at that one. That was just, you know, I got, I got completely just blasted there. Team comped and whatnot. But yeah. Um, so the Galv lead, once again, uh, this one is running Volt Switch, which is really good for me. And I'm going to actually go for the lunge immediately because I expect them to as well. I win CMP, thankfully, because of bad IVs. And now, actually, that wasn't a CMP tie, which I thought was weird. I didn't see a sneak or anything, but I am able to swap in my Luxray. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Um, and this person's also running Spark Lantern. So they clearly did not have the TMs or bother to have the TMs for this cup. And then they just leave. I think they just they were kind of screwed. I don't know what happened, but I mean I'd say well played, but they didn't they didn't really stay on long enough for us to find out if it was or not. So yet again another lantern lead. You guys know with this with this cup, you're gonna see like the same three or four teams in different orders, maybe same five Pokemon in different orders. So um, it's it's really easy to get the matchups down. So if you find something that works, do it and continue to do it. Now they go for wild charge here, and I get to come out with a surf i thought that that would be enough for a rocks throw that or a rock blast that definitely wasn't going to be enough for the um for the stone edge so i let it go for that reason but just thankfully i was able to maintain switch that would have been a much different situation if i had taken literally one more damage on my set on my lantern before they took that the wild charge that was dangerously close and that could have easily been a lose for me my opponent now comes in with their second rock and they're going to get farmed all the way down with a luxray luxray is just going to rip this golem to or get her graveler to shreds don't even get to a charge move and the opponent concedes and that's a good game <laughs> see that's why this thing is ridiculous because you want to talk about fast move pressure let me tell you double super effective hidden powers or something else now um there's not really unfortunately a substitute typing for hidden power that you can use 
it's really just kind of ground or you could try and make something like water or grass or fire like some other type that's neutral to most but super effective to some things but really what it's what you're gonna end up is just it's not gonna be as useful and i have actually ran into a few luxuries that were using just a random other type of hidden power that wasn't ground and unfortunately for them um it didn't go very well because the typing the damage just wasn't sufficient so gonna get the farm down after a wild charge there, I was not expecting to live that. This Luxray is a boss. And they're going to come up with Electro. I get Switch coming in with Galvantula. That's, I mean, the Switch clocks are still going. So this is this is pretty much alignment for me. And this is all I needed here. So, um, yeah. So then they're going to come in with their Ampharos. I'm going to continue to farm down. And just before I'm able to get the farm down, they're going to get to a charge move. And I'm pretty sure this is just a brutal swing. So one more, I'm going to be able to get this off, and then I can throw a lunge into this Electrode. But the problem here, ladies and gentlemen, is that their Electrode has two shields and I have zero, and I'm somehow able to get two lunges off. I don't know if I was actually living with one HP. Um, I don't feel like I should have been able to get both of those off. I actually think that I actually um, got the benefit of the one-turn desync there. So I feel like this should have been a loss, but you know what? We all take those, right? And also, if I hadn't gotten both of those lunges off, the opponent definitely would have been able to KO me from here with this energy ball, uh, because I believe they had to. No, I'm thinking of a different game then. Nope. All right. No, they definitely, definitely weren't going to get to it. But you can see how much damage the Surf and Water Gun damage. They do add up even against something like a Hisuian Electrode. So once again, going for the, straight for the CMP on the Galv. My opponent throws a move early, and I'm like, all right, there's no way that they got a turn on me. So they are running Cross Poison. And that is an interesting point that I can make here, is that if your Galvantula is like the rank one or very highly ranked and not likely to win CMP, definitely think that it's not a bad call here to play your Galvantula with Cross Poison so that you can actually win the mirror. And honestly, if you're playing it with the ener without energy ball, you're playing cross poison, for example, you can still fake the energy ball and never actually throw it. You know, they'll still respect the lanterns will still respect the energy ball. If you have that much energy, they'll still they'll still shield it and you'll still get the debuff with the lunge. So um, the opponent is going to counter swap their electrode owl into my owl lantern owl. And they're going to find out that if my lantern is allowed to, and they try to go to 100 energy, the lantern gets it very low. Galvantula is going to come in. I spend one shield to keep my Galvantula alive. They're going to wild charge to give me less farm, which is fine. And then I'm going to go right into my Luxray immediately because I'm expecting them to come in with something and farm down my Galvantula. So I don't want to play with that. I would rather save the energy on my Galvantula. They're going to go for the cross poison. And then they come in with a... Is that it? See, I saw Grass Electric. They're literally running the ABB Grass Electric team with a lawnmower Rotom. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm scared because I don't know what this thing's moveset is. I'm assuming it's going to throw an energy ball or something at me, but it's got Thunder and Luxray holds on with one HP to get the psychic things off. And that is just massive. That is going to allow my Galvantula now to get a farm down with a double debuff Rotom and be able to lunge the Galvantula in the back, and that's going to be a good game well played to my opponent. I actually think that might have been a CMP as well there, so either, either, bang, boom. There's no there's no explosions, unfortunately. I can't hit the button. I have, have yet to have a, a, a pure boom here, but Togen Amaru in the lead is really rough, and I'm going to treat it the same way I treat when I see an Alolan Golem or something, or, or Alolan Rock in the lead. I'm going to go straight to my Luxray. Luxray is actually the safe swap on this team. It's just that you don't usually use it that way unless you hit like a hard lead loss because there's so few things in this cup that beat Galvantula. It's literally just Togemaru and the Alolan Rocks. Like that's really the only thing that can truly beat Galvantula like hard. So that's why Luxray is the safe swap is because with just one move, it's going to do a chunk off the off of the uh, opponent and it's forcing them to swap. And in the two shield scenario, Luxray wins so many of them that it's actually disgusting and even when it doesn't win it's going to get so close that it's going to force the opponent to come out with no energy you know unfortunately that means that i lose my lux right here my opponent's not going to have any energy and my galva is going to come in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up to a lunge i know that the lunge will actually do a fair amount of damage because token tomorrow is not super thick it's pretty squishy to be honest my opponent's going to go for the wild charge and I'm going to over farm just a bit because I'm expecting them to swap, but they don't. So now they're going to take a double debuff lunge. 
and that does a fair amount of damage. And then I'm immediately bringing my lantern, and now my opponent and I are having a lantern fight. So this is extraordinarily fun. Um, we're just going to throw thunderbolts at each other until somebody goes down. And what I'm really hoping to do here is maybe somehow find a way to get just enough energy on my um, on my Galv here to be able to throw a charge move at that uh, Toge tomorrow. Or maybe, if I'm lucky here, I can get a move off against um, Toge tomorrow after I get rid of this Lantern. But my opponent goes for Surf. Really interesting play. I'm going to go for a Surf myself, and we're just going to see who wins here, because this is basically a mirror fight. I don't want to do it, but who's IV? Well, we swap at the same time. Opponent is going to throw with the Toga tomorrow, and unfortunately, this is probably going to be lost. Uh, Wild Charge comes through. Now, if I can if I can, if I I can, can just get the Surf damage, ah, but they get me just with one HP. All I had to do, all I had to do was farm down, and they live with one HP. But that was well played to my opponent. They did a very good job. So once again, Galvantula loses the lead to a rock. I'm going to come in, and my opponent stays in too long trying to figure out what to do, and they do come in with an electrode, and that is not, that is not a proper response to Luxray. So Luxray is going to start going to work here, throwing Psychic Fangs and farming down this electrode. And I'm pretty certain that I, I don't live a foul play, because Luxray is super squishy. So I'm just going to keep going here. My opponent goes down, doesn't bother to shield a Psychic Fang, so they're not going to have that energy to take out. And I have Flip Switch, which now means Lantern gets to stick to the Galvantula, and my Galvantula is going to be against what's left of their Galvantula. So we're looking pretty good here at this point. I'm going to go just continue to throw Psychic Fangs at my opponent's Galvantula here. Just I got to force shields off him at some point, and just keep doing as much damage as I can, because it looks right. It's ridiculous. I'm going to bring in my Galvantula, just soak the energy, because once their energy is gone, I can farm down with Lantern. And this is an easy shield through the Graveler and farm down situation for Lantern, and that is going to be basically a good game. And that is going to wrap up this video on Hidden Power Ground Luxray in the Electric Cup. Definitely an oversight. I think that they should have banned it as well, but then it would be one less thing for us to have fun with in this meta. Um, so, I mean, mixed opinions, I guess, but I still think that Luxray with Hidden Power Ground should have been um, taken away uh, because this thing is disgustingly strong. But then the Alolan Rocks would be way too free. So I guess it's a small check, but it's, it's just because it's limited access, you know. But anyway, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this one. And we are going to catch you later as my child tries to topple my computer onto the floor. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.